Now that we talked about detoxing your body, let's talk about what we should be eating versus what we shouldn't be eating. Get a little bit more specific with it. And that's why we say less crap, more clean. Crap is what we're going to talk about first. And crap, even though it is kind of crap, but it's just carbonated beverages, refined sugars, artificial flavorings and colors, and alcohol actually, and processed food. A lot of times, putting those things in your body, once again, those things are not natural to your body. Okay? Carbonated beverages, even though they say it's zero calories and stuff like that, actually you want to remove those things from your diet. I had a client of mine who only drank sparkling water. Diet was pretty fine, and she thought she was doing pretty well. But once we remove carbonated beverages from her diet, within 30 days, she dropped 14 pounds. It has preservatives in it. Even though they say it doesn't, there's not really that much truth in advertising. It does have it in it. Refined sugars. A lot of times what people tend to do is we always are looking to add additional sweeteners to things. Learn to get your sugars that you eat naturally from the foods you eat, which means natural whole fruits and vegetables. Anytime you have anything that either A, has sugar added, or you turn around and add sweetener, you're actually now taking in more sugar than is necessary. We'll talk about sugar a little bit later on and how much sugar you should be intaking, but what you should not be doing for the better part is adding additional sugars to anything that you eat. Artificial flavorings, colorings, and alcohol. Well, we're going to talk a little bit more about alcohol later, but artificial flavorings and colorings, those things also impair your bodies. All those dyes and things like that, those things are not meant for your body. They're foreign to your body, and they're going to have consequences when they get into your body. Processed food. When we talk about processed food, we're talking about anything that has to be packaged or prepared, okay, or change or altered in order for it to make it edible for you, okay? So sometimes we eat a lot of stuff that is processed, and I call it food-like products because it starts off as regular stuff, but by the time they add all the different flavors and all the different chemicals to make it last longer and things like that, now it's not natural anymore because it has additives and preservatives put in it, which then makes it processed. So if you can cut the crap out of your diet, then how do you, what, do you, what else do you eat now? You eat the clean stuff, or you do the clean stuff, as you say. Clean stuff would be complex carbs, things like sweet potatoes, things like um, uh, quinoa, things like uh, 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 oats and things like that. Those things are gonna be good for you. Lean proteins. Okay? And when I say lean protein, it's not necessarily just meat. So we also have to also consider that you have vegan sources of protein, which will also uh, come into play when we talk about things like uh, eating more uh, vegetables and stuff like that. But you can also get a good source of protein from plants, so not just meats. But lean proteins, we're talking about fish, pork, beef, chicken. But make sure when you buy these things, make sure that you're sourcing them from the right spots. So, it's not just enough to say lean, but we should say clean and lean. Haven't been raised with antibiotics, haven't been raised with steroids and all those other things like that. So make sure you go to like natural farms and stuff where you get your meats or lean proteins from. Make sure when you buy your fish, that even if, it, even if you do buy, buy farm raised, which I don't necessarily recommend, you buy wild caught, I recommend wild caught, but if you buy farm raised, make sure it specifically says not raised with antibiotics. Okay? So, lean protein. Exercise. We talk about exercise. Exercise is extremely important. You want to get a couple of days of vigorous exercise in on a daily, on a, on a weekly basis. Why? You want to raise your metabolism, get a good sweat, raise your heart rate, you know, move your body. Exercise your muscles, use your muscles, especially as you age. If you don't use them, you lose them. And that is actually a true statement, okay? Your body will degenerate if you do not use 
your muscles. You have to get blood going into your capillaries, your veins, and all those things like that to keep them active, to keep them healthy. If they sit dormant, guess what? You start to lose musculature, you lose circulation, you lose a lot of things. Okay? So exercise is going to be very, very important. Fruits and vegetables. We're going to talk about that a little bit more in detail, but it's very important to have a good serving of fruit and vegetables with every single meal. So you eat three or four times a day, every time you eat, you should have a serving of fruit and or vegetables with every single meal. I can't stress that enough. Reason why is because once again, like I said, they're, they're higher in nutrients and also they're going to have things like one of the things that you're going to need, we're going to talk about that a little later, fiber. Okay, last but not least, nuts and seeds. Very good source of healthy fats, very, very good source of nutrients as well. So that will make up your clean. Once again, complex carbs, lean meats, exercise, all fruits and vegetables, and nuts and seeds.